love working on a Saturday. No. What annoys me is we're not even open yet. The customers just let themselves in. I'm the only member of staff on site and they just let themselves in. There's not a great deal I can do to stop it. I can't turn around and shut the, lock, lock the gates again. Because nobody else will be here who are actually supposed to be here. Interesting day today, I completely forgot. We're going to visit Lucy's stepbrother. Yes, he is stepbrother. Trying to figure out what it is. They don't share any parents, but Lucy's mum's married to his dad, so stepbrother in it. Definitely. Yeah. We're going to visit them. They've got a new house in um Sawbridgeworth. So that'll be interesting. And the car's fuel gauge, in typical John fashion is below the bit that shows you how much petrol you've got and is actually pointing at the E. So I'd be interested to see how I actually get from here, Bedford, home to Hitchin. Now I can't find the key. Here we are. So there you go, it's another day done. It's quite easy actually. Nothing too unhandleable. New words being created, left, right and centre. So now it's uh, home and off to Sorbetworth, as I mentioned. What do you think? Shiny. I've got a new pair coming ne ne next week. Hello. More trainers. I'm alright. I, I don't like trainers. I found you a pair I'm going to buy you. It's not my thing. What? Have Thank you. Not? So ungrateful. <laughs> Oh, we're here. <coughs> it's not Sawbridge worth at all. It's just, it's Bishop's Dorf, it's what it is. It's Lucy's version of Sawbridge worth. This, sorry? They looked. Oh, look at the cat. Oh, so they, they looked for a house in Sawbridge worth, so clearly that must be where they got one. This is the place. Shelby, what are you doing? What are you doing, Shelby? Are you drinking from the sack? Are you going to maintain a politic silence till I go away? No, you're going to carry on drinking. There you go. That's how, that's how Shelby rolls. I'm just not sure I can be trusted around open flames, to be honest. I do love a fire. <laughs> right, and a slight change to my normal weekly beer review. Today... It's Polish week. It's Polish week. We've had a Polish bar which was amazing. And today's beer of the week is a vodka. Clearly. Because we're in Poland now. Well, no, you're not. You're in Poland. Yeah, we're, we're not in Poland. Well, we're we're not in Sawbridgeworth <laughs> either. Little Poland. Anyway, <laughs> oh, who knows? She kept calling it Sorbo. She goes, yeah, Sorbo. <laughs> Proper essay, Sorbo. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so today's today's beer review is a vodka review. Yeah. Yeah, it's absolute why. mango. And I'll tell you what, it smells like Umbongo. Remember Umbongo? They do it in the Congo. Umbongo, Umbongo, they do it in the Congo. Absolutely, Bob. Mouth a little bit with this chair. Tastes like umbongo with a lot of vodka in it. Did you just knock it off? Weird back? that. <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, <laughs> thumbs up. Mine's lost it. <laughs> there we go. That's, that's this week's beer review. Hey! And there we go. That's uh, Sawbridgeworth over and done with. Now it's back to the back cave. Bishop Stalford. That's Sawbridgeworth. If you ask Lucy, it's definitely Sawbridgeworth. You're such a piss taker. I don't know what you mean. Don't look at me. What, where am I going? Straight on. That wasn't me. Unfortunately, folks, I'm not filming in smell-o-vision. 
Because if I was, well, fortunately for you, actually, I'm not smell, I'm not filming in smell vision because you'd all be dead. This is Lu <gasps> this is Lucy getting me back for farting in her. No, he's not. I'm driving. Stop putting me off. I might crash. It is the best light. Have the best light over by the window. Stop staring at the screen. Have the best light over by the window. Right, sign off time. I'm not 100% sure about this one. At 15, my mind was bent on learning. At 30, I stood firm. At 40, I had no doubts. I'm 40, I've got a lot of doubts about that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it was Confucius. I'm gonna start telling you who said these because it tells me who said them at the bottom of all of them and I haven't been doing that. But I'm gonna tell you from now on. There you go. I'm confused. Well done Confucius. You did exactly what your name said on the tin. <laughs>